Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got another analytic report for you. I know, you missed them. I told you that starting at the beginning of 2021, I was going to do just a total 2020 analytic report, and then I decided to really turn that into a video of how much money I made in 2020, and then, of course, it was the beginning of the new year, so I was like, oh, I need to create a video about how to start a new channel in this year, and then all of that stuff. You know, like, you guys saw the videos that went live this month. But I'm here today to not only do a January analytic report so we're gonna go over what happened last month but also I'm going to share month by month the whole way through 2020 but before we get into it editing Catherine popping in here looking hot I know I'm currently working on the video you can see it right there I just want to let you guys know that if you are brand new to my YouTube channel or if this is the first video that you are seeing from me or the first analytic report that you are seeing from me I do one of these every single month as a way to add transparency and just break down the whole analytic algorithmic side of YouTube this is not the be-all to end-all of growing on YouTube or even like I don't want you guys to think that your views, number of subscribers, money earned determines your success on the platform. What I really think you guys should pay attention to is your engagement. So what are your likes? like what are your comments like in terms of how many comments do you have what are the comments on your videos and if there is a positive response from your audience i just felt like i needed to share that for anyone that is brand new to these analytic reports but let's just go ahead and do it <laughs> Here we are. Let me start my screen recording for you guys. Let's just go over all of it, all of the stats. So in January of 2020, 700,000 views. I dipped down to 463,000 views, dipped again down to 390,000 views. And then this is when I uploaded my video talking about how to start a YouTube channel. It was at the beginning of quarantine. And obviously that video really, really took off for me. So the next month I ended up generating almost a million more views, which is insane. I had never seen anything like it on my channel in the past. So that month, as well as the next month, I ended up doing really well. April and May were my most successful months in terms of views on my YouTube channel. Then it dipped a little bit and it started to dip for a while, which you guys are going to see. So 940,000, 897,000, 928,000. So like a little, a little up. And then we go back down to 760, 739, 700, 674. And then we're back up to 900,000. And I actually received a comment. I don't remember what YouTube video it was on, but I received a comment saying, aren't you worried that you saw this peak on your channel and you're never going to go back to seeing that peak? And my answer was no. Honestly, YouTube comes in ebbs and flows, okay? You're going to have a really, really good month in terms of your views and then you're going to have a really, really good month in terms of your income because, like, let's just jump over here, guys. You can see, yes, I did receive the most amount of views in April and May here, but guys, I'm making significantly more money. Wow, am I making like almost double the, not almost double, that's dramatic, but I'm making significantly more money now and it's going to come and flow. So you're going to have a really successful month where a couple videos take off. Maybe YouTube recognizes an old video that you have and starts recommending it in search or starts pushing it out on people's homepages. And then you're going to have months where, yeah, that one video is doing great for months. YouTube's recommending it. And then all of a sudden they're like, nah, we're gonna phase out this video. And you notice that your views dip, your income dips. It's so incredibly common to see it go like that. And just because, yes, I saw that one big peak and then it went down and I'm starting to see a little tiny peak again. Honestly, I know that I could have another peak like that anytime in the future. And I have no idea what video is going to get me there. Like I have no idea what video is going to be my next video to take off for my channel, you know? But you can't be so caught up in the numbers. And I know that I say this a lot, but you have to do YouTube because you love it, not because of like you want to get so many views, you want to get so many subscribers, all of that stuff. So let's go back to taking a look at these analytics and let's actually take a look at subscribers because for me, it's pretty normal that when my views go up, my subscribers also go up just because I really worked on creating binge worthy content, which is a good way to get people to subscribe to your channel. So when I have a decent amount of views here, so I was generating over a million views a month here, I was generating this month 40 
15,000 new subscribers, which is crazy. 36,000, that's almost 37,000 new subscribers. But every month until then, guys, like my channel has been on a crazy growth spurt. Actually, let's start at the beginning. So January, 21,000 new subscribers, 11,000, 9,000, and then up to 40,000 new subscribers. But every month, I mean, you guys saw the growth that happened with my YouTube channel this past year. I was gaining a ton of new subscribers and even now like 21,000 new subscribers to think of 21,000 people that actually care about me and want to watch my videos is just insane. But let's jump to the estimated revenue. So we can see here in January, this channel ended up earning $5,000. $3,800, $2,800, almost $7,000, $7,500. I'm just gonna scroll across, like you guys can read these, I don't need to say them out loud. And then we pretty much flatlined around $9,000 these couple of months here. And then of course I saw a spike in January because I ended up getting significantly more views in January than I did in the months previously and we ended up earning $11,000. So, you guys wanna dive deeper because I love this stuff and I really wanna dive deeper. So I'm going to go down to 2020. I wanna see daily. Wait, where am I at? I'm at date, I don't wanna be there. Okay, let's go over here. So I just wanna show you guys what happened with the trends of my videos this month and kind of just give you a good example of how this can happen with a video can do really, really crazy well and then it can start dipping and then it can do well again, you know? So this is my video, how to start a YouTube channel. You guys know this video in 2020 alone ended up generating me almost 2 million views. This video was launched in March, if I can get there, March 31st and it did really well from the beginning. I saw a little dip here, which still 5,000 views a day is crazy. And then it was pretty consistent, pretty consistent. And then we ended up seeing this random spike here and then it dropped like crazy. But if we take a look at, not total, I wanna unclick that. We can see all of, or not all of, this shows you my top five videos for 2020. So the first one is how to start a YouTube channel. Then we've got how long it takes to get monetized on YouTube, understanding the YouTube algorithm as a small YouTuber, how much YouTube paid me my first year getting monetized, and zero to 1,000 subscribers. So actually three of those videos, two, three, and five there were created in 2019, and then one and Four were created in 2020. Let's take a look at traffic source because you guys know I love this section in every single analytic report I say that I love this section because I do but I want to make this a little bit easier so should we do weekly or should we do day like monthly let me see what's going on with the graph here to make it easier. Let's do monthly just so we can see kind of month by month what is happening here. So in January or actually just like through January through, when did it start to change? So in June is really when this blue line, so browse features stopped being my most, I guess you could say successful in terms of pushing traffic to my website. So if we click on browse features, let's just see what that was. So home pages actually, wow, my recommended on home pages started to dip significantly by the end of the year compared to when I saw the huge spike in my channel. So from March to April and April and May were those two months where I saw over a million views. Home was driving me here over 40, or not 40, 400,000 views and then 300,000 views here. So that's interesting. But you guys can see browse features was my top performer in terms of driving traffic to my channel. And then this green line takes over, which is YouTube search. And honestly, YouTube search really skyrocketed. So from the beginning in January, I was generating about 55,000 views from YouTube search. And then here, over 270,000 views from YouTube search. That's crazy and that's actually really amazing. But then another line that also started to take off a little bit when I saw that spike here is suggested videos, so that yellow line. So other videos suggesting my videos was a little bit over YouTube search for a while and then it dropped under YouTube search. And this is why I know a lot of people say to grow on YouTube, you wanna get recommended. And in reality, yes, you do. Like being suggested after other people's videos is key to growing on YouTube, but it's not the only way to grow on YouTube. For example, if you've got a channel that is a how-to channel or an educational channel in any way, or even if you are doing, let's say you're doing makeup tutorials, you know, that's more so in the beauty and some people can say that's harder to rank in search because there's so many people doing makeup tutorials, but if you find something that's unique or something that's really, really niche that people are actually searching for on YouTube, you can get YouTube search to take off for you. And it's because of YouTube search that my channel 
channel has done really well. Yes, of course, being recommended on people's homepages did really well for me. It got me a ton of views, but YouTube search is really what's performing, especially now YouTube search is generating me 230,000 views a month, suggested videos 135,000, and then browse features, which is like home pages and stuff like that, 145,000 views. So if we take a look at YouTube search, I wanna see what keywords are doing the best for me and that is absolutely not surprising. So how to start a YouTube channel really took off and then you will see that the next several, starting a YouTube channel, my name, how to make a YouTube channel, how to start a YouTube channel, all of those really relate to the exact same thing. They're just not driving as many views as how to start a YouTube channel. But if we take a look at, like let's click on a couple of these other ones. Let's do like these four and see what's happening here. Okay, so the first one we've got is YouTube algorithm 2020. So I ended up uploading that video. I don't even know when I uploaded it. Let me go back really quick, hold on. October 2019. Actually, that keyword didn't really, I mean, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. Here's when it ended up seeing its peak in July and it generated a little over or almost a little under 3,000 views in that one month, which doesn't seem as much when we compare it to some of the other keywords, but these are the keywords that you really need to start paying attention to because all of these, or at least let's look at the blue line and the yellow line. So the yellow line is how to become a YouTuber. For a while, that one was and performing for me and then it started taking off it started taking off and the more you pay attention to these littler keywords that are performing for you you're going to find more of an opportunity for your growth and i know it's really tempting to just take a look at this one video or this one keyword and be like wow yes no i need to stick to this keyword this is doing the best for me but what you guys will notice is even this keyword road video micro i only have one video on that it is one of my top performing keywords, like in the top 10 here for all of 2020, I've got one video on it. If I created more videos around that, I would probably actually do really well for that keyword. Let's see if we scroll down, even affiliate marketing, that's a good one to take a look at. So you guys can see, I uploaded that video about affiliate marketing pretty late in 2020, but that video did pretty well in search. And I'm specifically saying one video because I know exactly what video was targeting that keyword. Sure, I've got other videos targeting affiliate marketing, but let's actually, here, let's what we'll do. We'll go back and let's take a look at my first year being monetized. I'm gonna go to traffic source, just so you guys know how to do this. Scroll down, YouTube search. So YouTube search actually isn't driving the most traffic to this video, it's the fifth top performer. But if we click on this, we can see exactly what keywords are driving traffic to this video. So we got Catherine Manning, Catherine Manning, obviously that's not surprising. How much YouTube paid me, YouTube monetization, monetization on YouTube, how much I make on YouTube, monetized, how to get monetized on YouTube, monetization. All of these keywords that have to relate to getting monetized, or like my first payment, my first YouTube paycheck, how do you get paid on YouTube, all of that stuff. It relates back to this one video. So when I say, yeah, I uploaded that affiliate marketing video, sure, there's other videos that may be recommended, but I know one specific video that it's kind of targeting. The very last thing I wanna take a look at is subscription status right here. And actually in my last video, I share with you guys the subscription source. So if you wanna take a look at that, that's right here, and you can get a full breakdown of where people are subscribing to your channel, or where people are unsubscribing from your channel but if we take a look at subscription source this is something that I really want to work on in 2021 and let me share these analytics and then we'll dive into it so not subscribed to my channel I'm generating almost 7 million views from people that aren't subscribed to my channel compared to people that are subscribed to my channel 3 million views and if we go what I like to do is go up top here to audience and I'm gonna scroll down and this is just January but let's do 2020 just because I'm curious to see so in all of 2020 my viewers and my watch time, 66% of the people that are watching my videos are not subscribed to my channel compared to 34% are. And this is pretty shocking compared to if I jump over to my vlog channel really quickly, this is just like the last 28 days I have selected here, but subscribe to my channel 67% compared to not subscribes 32%. And this is something that I really, really wanna work on this year. And I feel like January was not a good representation of that because the beginning 
beginning of a new year is the perfect time to create videos about the past year, looking forward to this new year, like how to get started or how to change your life. You guys saw the videos that I came out with. Like the beginning of a year is the best time to create those videos. So obviously I was focused on creating those videos, but this year, one of my goals is to kind of flip my viewership. So on my main channel right now, a ton of people are watching my videos that are not subscribed to my channel, where I would like more of my videos to be watched by people that are subscribed to my channel. Now, don't get me wrong. I see a lot of you that are there every single time I upload a new video and leaving comments. I see you and I appreciate you, but I would love it if that every video I created, my subscribers would want to watch. You know, like I've got some core YouTubers that I absolutely love and I'm a hardcore ride or die and it does not matter what video they upload on their channel. I am going to watch it and I would love to have that be the way you guys feel about my channel where right now, honestly, I don't even feel that way about my channel. You know, I can specifically pick out what videos are more so targeted towards a new audience or are targeted towards ranking in search compared to giving you guys what you really want to see. And that's just something that I really want to focus on this year, as well as like my mindset and my mentality. I just said mentality really weird, but my mentality with filming these videos, you know, I can get so caught up in what I'm saying and saying the right things instead of just having it be natural and chill. And really that's what's performing on YouTube right now is really just natural organic content is what I will say or authentic content is a better way to say it compared to everything filmed perfect and I just I, I've been caught up in this mindset of oh well if someone's new coming to my YouTube channel I want them to like the video and then maybe they'll follow my vlog channel or something and then they'll get to know my personality when in reality I just I want to create content that you guys want to see and stop focusing so much on the ranking and search and other aspects of it. And with the vlog channel, guys, I mean, if you are not subscribed to my vlog channel, I have so much fun over there because there's zero pressure, literally zero. Like I just get to use that as an opportunity to connect with you guys and you guys get to know me on more of a personal level. And I'm not worried about attracting a new audience over there at all compared to this channel. I think it's really easy to fall into that mindset. So I want to look at my main channel more so the way that I look at my vlog channel. Now you're not going to get vlog and stuff on this channel, but I just want to create content that I would honestly want to watch, that I would honestly want to see. And I feel like I rambled enough in this video. So I'm hoping you guys like this analytic report. I'm still going to continue to do analytic reports. I'm just not sure if I more so want to move these over to the vlog channel. Like, do you guys want these to stay on the main channel or the vlog channel? I'll actually pin that as a comment and then you guys can let me know. But I feel like since I only create four videos a month on this main channel, having one of these videos be this video, I'm not sure if you guys like that or what. So if you guys are not subscribed to the vlog channel, check it out. I do upload two videos a week. So you guys are really getting three videos a week from me. So go subscribe over there. If you are not subscribed here, subscribe. Let me know what videos you would more so like to see on this channel. I know I've got a few that I've had on my content calendar for a while that I've just pushed off and have been recommendations from you guys. I just haven't gotten around to it. So I think in February, I'm more so going to focus on those videos and I'm hoping that you guys like those, but that's it from me. I'll see you guys back here soon. Bye guys.